I say, so I ask, why should I address them? He says it, 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 the videos make it look, the video that he is particularly talking about says it make it look like I hate women drivers. Like, where would that come from? What are you talking about? I want to make this clear. I do not hate on any women drivers, bro. I don't. I don't. I mean, it's, 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 it's good that women are driving trucks. I, I do not hate on them at all. Whoa, bro. <laughs> Could have fooled me, my guy. Could have fooled me over there. Because every time, you know, I, I, I check out some of your TikToks, and, you know, a couple of your past videos do look like you um, do look like you're doing a little bit of um, hating over there, my guy. I don't know. I don't know. Welcome back to the Lockout Man podcast show. Thank you. Thank you. If you like what I do over here, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe. And the, let's just jump right into it. Look, look at here. There's Trucker Brown, my guy. He says that there is thirst trapping in trucking. He says that these women, these lady truckers that comes into the industry, they're, they're not doing anything. They're not bringing nothing to the table, so to say. They're not, they're not showing what trucking is supposed to be about. He says that the videos that he came across or come across or that he looks at, he says that there's nothing but thirst traps and no re-education in the nation to show anything that, you know, you guys is, is doing anything for trucking. Well, my guy, I am here to tell you, my bro, you're right. They're not bringing nothing to the table. They're not showing nothing to, to, to show anything for trucking. Because we're not going over there for that, my guy. And plus, they're not making their content. This is 2022. You know what I'm saying? Maybe back in 2015, 2000s or whatever, whatever. You know, when everybody was coming in looking for information. This is 2022 now, man. TikTok has taken over the trucking realm and made it to what it is today. Nothing but voiceovers, dances, and taking other people's voices and lip syncing, bruh. That's all it is. And, of course, thirst trapping, like this one right here. Hold on. more for you guys but before i show them i want you guys to hear what trucker brown has to say about women truck drivers if i go to particular joints and most of the videos are just about the way whether you're woman or man the way the puss person looks or the way the uh, uh, uh or something like that if it's like everything's I'll put it this way. If I go to your social media or I come across it and it just looks like a thirst trap, the whole thing. Y'all right now tell me if that helps the new people coming in. Give what, what intrinsic value, what, what value does uh, a thirst trap have in what we do? Nothing. Absolutely, positively, nothing, my guy. Nothing at all. Because they are not here to teach us. They are not here to teach us. They're not making their TikToks for teachable moments. They're just not. They're just here to have some fun, make some money, and keep it moving. 
the days of teaching and training and coming to people for answers is over, my guy. It's done. It's over. We got we got pretty women coming into the industry and on their off time or their downtime, they're going to change into their makeup, put on some sexy clothes, and make a TikTok video and keep it moving. That's what they do. Like this one right here. Hold on. I'm in my mind, yeah. So that's what they're doing over there. They're minding their business and having fun in their trucks, bro. But he's not finished yet. No, no. No, no. He's not finished yet. Let's hear what else he has to say about lady drivers. I'll tell you that. So all of the new people coming in right now. And you're trying to figure out how to navigate what's going on in, in the trucking industry. And if you went to social media and it was nothing but 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 thirst traps you tell me how that would help you and i'll wait and i'm gonna look at your comments and y'all tell me how would that help you it doesn't again my guy it, it doesn't new people that's coming into the industry listen no no you know no no shots to you all right Look, I know y'all coming in here. Y'all want to know what to do, how to do, where to do. And y'all looking for the best content creator to help you along the way. There's myself, Lockout Men. Lockout Men makes the call. You know what I'm saying? Y'all come over to me. I make the call to all these companies. Find out the information that you want. And if it's something that is good and it works for you, that's what you do. You pick it out. There's other truckers on here on YouTube that used to make, how can I say, informational content. They don't do that no more. They don't do that no more. Here, Trucker Brown calls himself the only person to, to bring out trucking information. And bro, bro, broham, broski, it's cool that you still, you know, want to do that for the new jacks, but tell me, my guy, where's... Where's everybody else in your congregation that used to do that? Guys like Loshan Parks. I haven't seen him in a long time. And that's a very good guy to get some very good information. Not only that he does trucking, but he owns a business. You don't even do that, my guy. Guys like uh, SoCal. You know, not only SoCal... Not only that he drives trucks, not only that he has a business, but he knows some big power players. You know? So, and, and, and they don't even do videos no more. They don't even do YouTube. I mean, they do YouTube to an extent, but they're too busy running their business to worry about coming on YouTube to give some information to some new jacks. The time for, let me show you how to slide tandems and, and let me show you how to fuel is over with, my guy. These lady truckers ain't coming out here for that. They don't want to do that. They don't want to do that. They want to do this. Hold on. I'm in my mind.
what they want to do, my guy. That's what they want to do. They they want to do that. They want to, you know, kind of come out here, have a little bit of fun, show some skin. And what? And, and to be honest with you, let's let's be honest, guys. Let's be honest, guys. I'm a I'm a guy. I'm a male. I'm honestly I am honestly honestly not going to these female truckers page to look for any information. I'm honestly going to these female pages just to just to see what's up, see what they doing, see how they looking, what they doing today. I'm just saying. The days of of lady truckers coming out giving out trucking information is over, my guy. It's only a handful of them that's still doing it. What about what what about the 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 female that was in your congregation before? That's no longer in your congregation. What about Jay Rich? So, uh, got my truck all the way to the oil field, meeting the driver. Still me. That's what a real coach do. You know, I'm talking about. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Drive out this way in town. Still me. We did this within a matter of less than two weeks. I'm like, what? Huh. I'm like. Big truck driver, baby. Big coach. Big mentor. <laughs> Big J. <Jay> Reese. <laughs> I see you. You know, my guy, you talk about all these other lady truckers, even though I don't, I, I haven't seen no more videos. You know, as I was doing this video and I went back to do my research, all the videos between you and her is gone. You used to have a gazillion videos with you and Jay Rich. But it's gone. Jay Rich leveled up. Surpassed you, sir. I'm in my mind, yeah. <laughs> Are still competition for cash apps doing live streams of content that you're re just rehashing my guy let's let's hear just a little bit more what he got to say but this time we're gonna hear it from his TikTok and the question that he asked this Female driver, go figure. Let's see what he got to say about that. How do you trucker. feel about female representation on TikTok for truckers? I need more than 60 seconds, I'll tell you that. Give, give me 60 seconds. I mean, I think that it's disingenuous. Mm. I think that it's uh, not helpful as far as it being... Uh, giving an honest representation of what the expectation will be because I mean technically a lot of y'all are just trying to figure out a way to duck the hard work anyway so I don't think that females so, are represented uh, well accurately yeah they're the females that are talking about the industry or doing the industry are not doing it in an advantageous way for more women to come in and stay for longer periods of time because the women that are here now are trying to just get but they need to get out. But they're giving, you know, they're trying to transition from truckers to TikTokers. <laughs> or they're trying to transition from the trucks to social media. They ain't real. I don't, it's not that they're real. It's just, you know, like I said, this industry now has became, you know, like the drug game. I'm going to get in, get my consignment, flip it, make the profit, probably reinvest a couple more times. And then I'm out the door. And I'm going to just talk about my minute-to-minute -minute experience in that moment just so I can get by and build my brand, build my social media brand, get money to replace the money that I'm getting from trucking. So I can stop driving. On. Yeah, no one. Hmm. Hmm, bro. Could that be a, a shot to somebody? Like maybe a popular TikToker? 
that exploded on TikTok from YouTube. Wait, didn't you didn't you at one point say this? Hold on. That's my question to the whole trucking community on TikTok. How you flop on YouTube? And <laughs> y'all Kim Kardashian you know, on, on TikTok. Stop it. Do I think they buying followers? I don't know. I just got here. I just walked in the door. So hold on. Let me tell you how petty I'm about to be. <laughs> I'm not blocking nobody off my social media because I want you to see my growth. <laughs> call me messy, call me petty, but you're going to see me, bitch. <laughs> Uh, hooked up with uh, with with another YouTuber, um, Trucker Brown. Um, you 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 guys hooked up, uh, got together, and uh, you know th things happens. Uh, y'all made y'all made some things happens. Um, I think y'all got together and y'all did the y'all was part of the Wild Network. Or that was a network. That no, that was, was his. Network. Oh, that was his. Okay, that yeah, was supposed that was to. His. That was supposed that to come together. Uh, what was the uh, what was the experience uh, like with uh, with Trucker Brown? And how did y'all meet him? I mean, how how did y'all come to meet him? Uh, well, the experience. Well, first, the reason how I met him is um, he told my husband he was like. I, I, I forgot how we met, but he was telling my husband, he was like, I want to do an interview with your uh, with your wife. He was like, well, let me ask her. And he asked me. I was like, oh, yeah, sure. That's what's up. It don't matter to me. Okay. So um, we first did the first interview. It was good. It was it was good. And um, the experience with him was he's very smart, but he was just um, he is a whole different breed <laughs> <laughs> from what I'm used to. <laughs> it was not. Um, he's a very smart guy. He knew he, he know his stuff. But he's a he was a narcissist, like kind of a too like it gotta be his way or no way. And I wasn't, and that wasn't gonna turn out good. I'm not a follower. I'm I'm a I'm a leader, and we're a team. I don't do the I don't do the whole I will follow somebody's lead. That's, oh, okay. <laughs> that's not what I do. So that really didn't work out too well. And <laughs> at all. okay, okay. Not at all. Okay. Uh, do y'all do y'all still conversate? Do y'all do y'all still talk? No, I would never talk to him ever again. Uh, <laughs> no, I would never talk to him again. Okay. Um, and I would never even want to be in the same room as him okay. again because I look at it like this: once you disrespect my my marriage, it's 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 time to cut you off like it's no i have no respect for you i wouldn't be a i wouldn't be a lady if i wasn't see him again because i feel like my marriage is he did some he did some crazy things and i feel like when it comes down to my marriage with us already being a black family it's already difficult it's already difficult you got everybody don't want to see y'all married you got everybody don't want to see y'all together you got everybody against you because you're doing something that is very uncommon that's being a black married together couple in one household so um i look at it like you try that it's over for you that's cutthroat for me do you <laughs> so, do you no never again do you feel the do, do you feel that um that you know because some of it unfortunately was played out on youtube um and i think a little bit on instagram as well but um do you do you think was some of the people that that were saying that you didn't become you didn't become popular or you wouldn't be popular right now if it wasn't because of him um well when it comes down to that i didn't know who i never did know who he was until like uh, my husband used to always watch him but i believe i came who i am because of who i am like I didn't come for you. I didn't come for him. He came for me. Like he he came. He wanted to do an interview with me. I don't need nobody. Right. Okay. <laughs> like I don't need to have no. I don't need to have. I don't need to be on nobody's page. I'm one of them type of people. I like to just be me. So if somebody asked me to be a part of something, then then it is what it is. But even if I would have, even if I would have never met him or anybody else, if my career take off, it take off. But I don't like to meet people and be 
on their platform anyway for little things like that. Like, oh, you wasn't nothing before you met him. Right. So you just didn't know who I was. I'm always been Clarissa Rankin. Oh, okay. I'm always been a go-getter. I've always been a hustler. i always been who I am, outspoken, phenomenal, a motivator. i always been that. So you just didn't know who I was until he put me on his platform. You didn't know who I was, but other people know me. So, I had to give you I a mean, bomb really for that. <laughs> You say no. <laughs> you say I was I mean, already Clarissa Rankin. I, hmm, I ain't, I'm not going to say nothing on that one, my guy. But <clears throat> at one point, you and that popular TikToker, y'all, y'all used to be tight back in the day. As a matter of fact, you used to be tight with a whole bunch of YouTubers back in the day, my guy. You, you used to have... Like, you know, like a lot of clicks, man. You used to have a lot of clicks, you know, but unfortunately you're, you know, the, the, the togetherness, the, the, the bond or whatever is just, is, is broken. It's broken. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say, my guy. I, I don't know what to say, but the lady the, the the days of the lady truckers teaching anything is over. It's over. They they're here on their TikToks just having fun and just doing whatever they want to do. You know what I'm saying? Doing whatever they want to do, whether it's thirst trapping, talking, or just whatever. Because TikTok as a social as the new social media pro platform made it a lot easier for these ladies to grow. Hold on. I'm in my mind, yeah. Because guys is just not looking for them on YouTube no more. They're going over to TikTok to find all these lady truckers. And shout out to all the lady truckers that I have met through this app. Through this app. I didn't even know that, that there was some veteran lady truckers that's on this app. But they're not here to teach no more, my guy. But before we finish up my commentary on on this right here, man, listen, I got I got one more for you. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? I know y'all ready. Here you go. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, let's bring that one back, guy. Yep, yep, just doing what they doing and having fun while they doing it, my guy. So, listen, I mean, this ain't... This is just an observation, you know what I'm saying, from, you know, from an outsider looking in, you know, I mean, the video that you got, that you made, and guys, go check out his video. Go check out his video, Trucker Brown, and the name of the video is Why Lady Truckers Are Bad for Trucking. I don't think they're bad. I don't think they're bad at all. I'm for real. There's a lot of veteran lady truckers out here that's doing the damn thing. Now, I don't think that he's talking about them. He's talking about the new jack lady truckers that just recently came in doing the, you know, doing the TikTok boom. Because veteran lady truckers back in the day, they had something to say. They had something to say. There was some nice, uh, nice information that was brought out by them on YouTube. But now TikTok just made it simple for them. There's no more work. Period. No more work. No more work that they need to do. They don't need to set up the lighting. They don't need to set up what they're going to think about saying. They just hit that.
play uh, that record button on TikTok and use the gazillion filters that that app provides. And then they just do what they do. And that's it. That's it, my guy. Again, the days of lady truckers teaching anything is over. So I'm just going to leave you guys with a YouTuber that got over 100,000 subscribers. She came in the game late and surpassed this guy. Like, whew. Well, there was a couple of female truckers that surpassed him. I mean, I mean, you know, that that's that's a whole nother topic, bro, about your subscriber count because you kind of been stagnant at about what? This 2022, 19, 20, 21, 22, three, four years now, my G. And how long you been on YouTube? For about seven of them? And you still haven't hit the hundred, the hundred thousand mark? And you claim to be this guru of YouTube? Hmm. I don't know, my guy. I think, to be honest with you, I, I think you need to go back to what brought you Providence. I'm for real. I liked you when you was ranting and raving and doing the damn thing, my bro. That's what you was doing. But I guess you said you had to grow up. I guess. But I, I think you should do what the YouTube gurus say. What made your channel grow into what it was. And that was you just being you. But I'm going to leave you guys with this. I mean, I'm going to leave you guys with this. So thank you for listening. I really do appreciate it. If you guys like what I do over here, again, hit that like button and that subscribe button. And, yo, stay tuned until the next podcast, man. I'll talk to you guys later. I received a lot of love starting my YouTube channel, and I also received a lot of hate. The hate came from a few black male truck drivers that also have YouTube channels. They made YouTube videos about me to eat off my name, and they decided to call out how female truck drivers dress. What everyone felt to realize is that they waited until I came out to bring awareness to this. I made them feel a way because they never reached the views I have and they have been on YouTube longer than me. Hater! Two of them is married. Jealousy. One of them deleted his YouTube channel. Shitbag! The other one preach never get a girlfriend in trucking. Just stack your money and stay a company driver all your life. And last but not least, this last one made a video lying on me and I have screenshots of him in my inbox writing me several times to fly me out, etc. And I've never opened, let alone responded to him. Mad dusty. Well, y'all can go look these bum ass niggas up because four out of five of these dudes are still company drivers, by the way. And let's not forget, one of them has been faking a fleet for God knows how long. The worst. How you got a fleet and you still a company driver? Dummy head. The other one made more than one video about me, but he took those down. And he's been in and out of the hospital because he can't control his health. Kiss my ass. People swear they know you off of a few videos. And I've mainly just showed one side of myself. I'm no longer keeping quiet about certain things. I'm going to say how I feel, and some of y'all don't even like yourself. So I don't care if y'all don't like me. You got these same raggedy, rough-looking drivers who have been making the same raggedy-ass videos about the same damn topic for years. And nobody has a complaint about that shit. Boring! They preach the same least shit, and they talk heavy shit when someone pay cash for something and actually own it. These are people that have never owned anything in their entire life, but their stinking ass drawers. Did I just say that? And I'm tired of it. And every time I address something like drama, 
y'all be in the comments talking about don't entertain that don't worry about that don't say nothing why not why not why can't i defend myself why can't i say what i want why 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 don't y'all hold these other people accountable only very few people did defend me even though i didn't need nobody to defend me shout out to y'all because i'm always gonna fuck with y'all whether i talk to y'all or not and i'm just really sick and tired of these dudes that's been out here on youtube longer than me and it's been truck driving longer than me think they really the shit they really think that they have really done something for trucking what have y'all showed people what how are y'all different how what have y'all done y'all still in the same predicament y'all was in last year the year before last y'all still don't own anything nothing and nobody doesn't call these people out like that like what and let's be real niggas nowadays act like bitches these something in the air tonight got a feeling coming over me i swear that this is that place to be in the water in the, the water